This is Scott Burns for Spider TV, and you were here with head coach Danny Rocco. And Coach Rocco, you're winding down spring practice. What are your thoughts on your defense so far this uh, this practice? Well, um, they've gotten better, I think, uh, all spring long, and I think that we uh, certainly have enough talent there uh, to be good. Um, there's a couple of spots that we are really trying to, to develop some depth, uh, but I think we have enough uh, frontline players, um, enough talent over there. Uh, as you know, we've uh, kept a lot of the system intact. Uh, a lot of what uh, Coach Trot and the defensive staff was coaching a year ago has remained pretty much consistent. We're a little more versatile maybe in some areas because of some things that uh, we may have brought with us from Liberty, but um, the terminology, the communication, the verbiage is, is real similar. So uh, I think our players have uh, been able to continue to improve uh, and build upon uh, their experiences from last year. Individually on the defense, has anybody really stood out to you? Yeah, there's a number of guys have. I uh, I think, you know, holistically, I'm pleased with our, our defensive front. Um, they got off to a good start. I, again, like I said, I think the fact that we kept the system somewhat intact helped the defense a little bit in that area. Um, B.J. Scott, uh, Kerry Wynn, uh, Jacob Pierce, uh, all doing uh, real well, I think, this spring. Um, and uh, holding down and anchoring that defensive line. I have a number of guys that are, you know, competing for playing time, another number of guys that are adding uh, viable depth in there. So uh, I feel good about that. Overall, I think Cooper Taylor's been the most impressive uh, defensive performer we've had uh, all spring. And really from beginning until here we hit into the last week, he's probably been the most overall impressive uh, player that uh, I've seen out there. Real consistent with what he's doing. Uh, he's got a, a really good body to uh, play the, uh, the positions and do the jobs that he's doing uh, and uh, practices real hard. So I uh, feel good about what the D-line's doing, feel good about what Cooper's doing back there, and uh, a lot of other guys are working hard and uh, getting better. Coach, so often in the fall, games are decided by special teams. What have you seen out of that unit so far this spring? Well, um, we've got a few options. Uh, Nick Hicks is, um, you know, uh, punting, and uh, obviously he did a good bit of that a year ago, and, and he's back for his senior year. Uh, came in in Henshaw, or uh, competing for the uh, field goal, extra point, kickoff duties. Uh, there's a good chance that. Um, you know, we split those up a little bit uh, instead of having one guy handle everything. Uh, they're moving the kickoff uh, up this year, five yards from the previous uh, years. And, um, and this spring, um, we haven't done uh, quite as much in the kicking game uh, as maybe I've done in years past. Um, with our roster numbers being down a little bit, um, I didn't feel that you know scrimmaging kickoff and punt and punt return and kickoff return uh, would be things that would serve us well so we really haven't done much if any of that but we've certainly uh, worked our, our snapping and our holding and our kicking and our field goal protection uh, we've worked our uh, punt protections uh, very well uh, we worked at our returners and uh, um, I'm encouraged. I think there are enough different um, options to go to in special teams. Uh, obviously, you know, the more depth you have on your football team, the better off you are in being able to uh, field uh, people to cover kicks and make plays in a kicking game. Uh, but I think we'll have a number of guys with uh, good experience and a decent amount of talent uh, to go up there and hopefully help us win some close games. Spring practice culminates this Saturday with the annual spring game. What are your expectations? Maybe what are you looking out uh, to get out of that contest, that scrimmage? Well, there's a lot of things that I'll talk to the kids about, you know, as we head into Saturday. Um, I want to see them uh, focused. I want to see them uh, executing. I've uh, been talking all spring long about our ability to finish strong, uh, whether that's each practice, each day. Uh, whether that's uh, the fourth quarter, which they'll have an opportunity to do out here in the spring game, finish drives off. Um, so I want to see us focus and execute. I want to see us be able to finish, you know, play a complete game, uh, not lose our focus or our concentration if things start going against us on either side of the football. 
Uh, so those are some of the things we're looking for. Certainly want to have a, a good physical go out there. Uh, would like to see the momentum swing back and forth a little bit. Uh, not looking for an offensively dominated scrimmage or a defensively dominated uh, scrimmage. But uh, it's a great way to finish up. Uh, guys have worked real hard and uh, certainly are all looking forward to this opportunity to go out there and uh, hopefully have a great crowd out there and uh, play a good football game and have a little bit of fun.